the many people out there who are experiencing this, you know, it just seemed like the pal adding up and it need to be something done about it. Joseph Harrell is one of many family members of a victim of gun violence who decided to participate in this National Gun Violence Memorial Project. He's still grieving the death of his murdered son, 27-year-old Javon Fleming, killed in Over the Rhine in broad daylight. He was a positive guy, you know, he was in the sports and stuff. A lot of people knew him. He was an entrepreneur. And I don't really know the basis behind all this stuff that happened to make him lose his life. It was a real tragedy, you know, and we still feeling the, the pain, like an earthquake, the aftershock. Cincinnati families who have lost loved ones to gun violence are being invited to honor those victims in this memorial project, part of a national program. Families can bring special items of their loved ones that will be taken to Washington, D.C. Items often include photographs, jewelry, trophies, and other mementos. Essentially what it is, it's a glass house uh, made of glass bricks, and the uh, item that they bring will be enclosed in those bricks, and then the, that brick will be engraved with that person's name in it. So it's a really wonderful, wonderful thing for uh, families, and we're so glad that uh, it's in Cincinnati. The local event is a joint effort by the city of Cincinnati's Office of Human Relations, Every Town for Gun Safety, and the Cincinnati Recreation Commission. While it may not give them closure, it allows them to mem uh, memorialize their family member, not only the family member, but the story. And you know, as I was down there, it was rather touching to see these family members just take such care of these items that they were placing in these boxes. That event took place over in the West End this evening. Tomorrow, people have another chance to bring items. This is at the Hirsch Recreation Center on Reading Road in Avondale from noon until 4. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.